Between 20, 2005 and 2009, he was chairman and majority shareholder of a Kazakhstan bank, which is now the appellant in this appeal. The bank was nationalized, and Mr. Abliazov fled to England. The bank claimed that he had presided over the misappropriation of 10 billion United States dollars of the bank's monies for his own personal benefit. 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 Alexander Cooley, a professor at Columbia University in New York, who has investigated the Abliazov case. Mukhtar Abliazov um, is a fascinating figure for a couple of reasons. Uh, for uh, the Kazakh government, he is essentially Kazakhstan's most wanted. He is uh, someone who has embezzled billions of dollars through his BTA bank. He's a fugitive from justice. Uh, he uh, presents himself um, as a regime opponent um, to uh, camouflage some of these dealings. Abliazov was the president of the board of BTA, the largest bank in Kazakhstan. In 2009, he flees to London in a rush. He leaves the bank on the verge of bankruptcy. Billions of dollars are missing. Mr. Abliazov embezzled billions and billions of dollars from the bank through the use of uh, sham loans to companies that were controlled by Mr. Abliazov or his associates. But right before he goes to jail, he flees to France. He hides out in the south of France for over a year, where he avoids justice until July 2013. The fugitive opposition politician and former Kazakh banker Mukhtar Abliazov has been arrested in southern France. Abliazov is put behind bars. Russia and Ukraine request his extradition, but that leads to lengthy legal proceedings. Eventually, three years later, the highest court in France rules he cannot be extradited. Abliazov is set free. the bank's monies for his own personal benefit, 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 benefit. benefit.